Hey everybody, it's Mr. 95 Cents. We're here for Mr. 95 Cents for Card Adventures. How we doing everybody? Oh, we're gonna oh we're gonna open the mega box today. I got a couple of these, and they're not too bad. I think they're about 50 bucks. So it's well below our $120 limit. And uh, it says you can find two uh, retail exclusive purple parallels. But the big thing I want to get is that booklet. But you can get one autograph or remember be a card per box. So we'll see what happens later. How we doing, everybody? Oh, my poor Jets. We got killed last night. I don't know. It don't look good. Uh, we're four and four now. It's a miracle. Uh, we're four and four probably. Uh, and I'm not going to blame Zach Wilson completely. Uh, Alan Lazard can't catch a ball. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Stefan Diggs or whatever. Uh, he can't. He can't. Uh, I got the name right. I, you hardly ever see him in the game. We're paying him a lot of money. And when he gets in the game, he only gets like two yards, if that. So. I don't know. The defense played good. You know, they could have played a little better, but they played good. Too many turnovers, bonehead plays, penalties. We had more yard, a lot more yards than them, and we still got killed. <laughs> so what are you going to do? Four and four. I'm not giving up yet. We'll see what happens. But otherwise, we're here in New Jersey. It's a nice day. Not too bad, you know. Uh, the leaves are coming down like crazy still, so we'll see. I got a big pile in front of the house and the town has not come to pick them up yet and there's so many out there that you, only one car lane i blocked the lane with my leaves but i'm on a, uh, a quiet sort of quiet street all right we're going to do our prizes but before we do that we're going to shout out to all our featured channels down below check them out we got a lot of great featured channels oh they put a lot of content out i, I just about get uh, to watch them all because there's so many Lucky I got a lot of time where I look through cards and stuff because, boy, you can watch for hours and hours, which I do. All right, so check them out. A lot of fun, all family-friendly. So here we go with some prizes. So if you comment on the last video and you're a subscriber, you have a chance for one of these prizes. First out of our box today is going to be, this is nice, this is the uh, 2000 World WCW Nitro trading card game like promo pack and right on the front it's got a buff is the stuff foil card holographic yeah all sealed up second out of the box we got a bash at the beach it's an old uh, I believe it's a finest yep ddp versus hogan look at that third out of the box we got direct from liberia the china stamp the third out of the box and fourth out of the box, we got a Topps Heritage Batista sticker card. And there's only 10, 10 different stickers. All right, so let's get our box here. Let me put this over here. We got a lot of people in there, and we're going to mix her up. Here we go. We'll do a little hand mixing first. Okay, then we'll shake it up. All right, good luck to everybody. Here we go. We're going for the Buff is the Stuff Pack first. Oh, I got to make sure I got one. Here it is. All right, the first out of the box. Hey, Day One Savage. Day One Savage. He's down on the feature channel. Check him out. Day One. He's got the Buff is the Stuff Pack. There we go. All right, we're going to go for the, the DDP Hogan card. Let's mix it up. Bash at the beach. I'm going in. Who's got it? Oh, vintage bookshelves. Vintage bookshelves. Uh, I'm not sure if I have uh, their address. If I don't, send to my email, sportspg at aol.com. S-P-O-R-T-S-P-G at AOL. If not, I'll message you. I gotta say, I'm not sure if I have your address. If you, if you want to prize me for I probably do. All right, we're going to go for the China. Oh, Daryl, Book. He's riding the hot streak here. Oh, he's riding the hot streak here, Daryl. Coach Book. 
Got the China. I think he won last time, too. All right, here we go. The Batista sticker. Angelo. Angelo Campanella. There we go. Angelo. We got the Batista sticker. Here we go. And that's our prizes for this video. We'll show you some prizes later on. That if you comment on this video and you're a subscriber, you're going to get a chance to win. All right. What do we got here? Oh, let's see. Oh, we got a lot of warehouse finds. Oh, a lot of warehouse finds. And now I'm also, uh, looks like I'm going through another collection that I might be buying. It looks like I'm going to be buying it. And it's a lot of stuff. So <laughs> we might have to go from warehouse finds to card collection pickups or something. I don't know. All right. So oh, we got some non-sport first. Got a big stack here. Yeah, let's get moving. So these are a couple of cards from, I think it's the Burger King. Does it say? I think it was Burger King or McDonald's. It doesn't say on the card as far as I see. I might have been McDonald's. But these are uh, like promo cards from McDonald's. What year are they? Does it say a year on them anyway? I should have looked at these before. Looks like 1997 or 98. But that's a parasect. On the back, it's got a little thing. So that was, this is all about the Mew Strikes Back movie. There was a movie with Mew. Pokemon movie. And then we got a Meowth. And as you see, number 52, there was quite a few uh, cards in the set. We got some more Pokemon League Challenge. I'm lucky I... Pokemon League cards. We got a Zygarde. I'm glad I keep finding these because I'm sending them out to people little by little. This was uh, not a league promo. This is a special thank you promo. I believe it was during the pandemic that they wanted to thank everybody from bu for buying their pre-release kits. They they put the pre-release kits for sale. Usually, in the past before the pandemic, you couldn't get a pre-release kit unless uh, you went to a pre-release tournament and played. Uh, but during the pandemic, they stopped all in-store play, so they gave out a lot of nice other prizes. And uh, this is a sealed uh, hyd hydrogen, and it's got a little thank you on the, on the side. And yeah, they were nice. We gave them out. We got a mash, Max Potion League Challenge. Or like, I keep seeing a League Challenge, League Pokemon League card. <laughs> we had League challenges during Pokemon League, but. Uh, I'll tell you. And we got a Celesteela. Celesteela. Oh, this is uh, different. This is a... Oh, this is a... Oh, this is a promo card for a set that, from Inkworks that came out July 3rd, 2002. And it's the Men in Black 2. We got some Goodwin Champions. All right. They're from 2014. We got a Jerry Curry. So Goodwin Champions is a nice set. I like it. Could be anything. When you open up the box, could be anything in there. We got a Walter Chrysler. I like the mix of historical sports, entertainment. We got a John Who. Who, huh? I don't know. I don't follow golf, so I'm not sure. But Tony Kukok, I know how to say his name. Jordy Smith. And Napoleon Bonaparte. Let me get his card here. Oh, geez, he's sticking. Napoleon Bonaparte. Look at that. Now we got some basketball. So we got finest cards. This is from 97 98. We got finest silvers, which are were not that easy to get. We got an Antonio Daniels on the regular silvers. We got a Dennis Rodman. Oops. A Charles Barkley. And Jamal Mashburn. And a Patrick Ewing. Then they had the embossed silvers, which were very hard to get. 
and they, they are embossed. You can see the indentation on the back. We got an Antonio Daniels. So it's like a little puffy 3D effect. We got a Rod Strickland. Nice looking cards. And we got a Bobby Jackson. And we got some hockey coming. Let's see. So we got a Metal Universe uh, picks Lucas Raymond. Nice, like, pennant-type card. Oh, I remember these. These were the National Hockey Day cards. We got a Capo Caco. I believe that's a that's an America's Rookies. Yeah. We got an MVP talent, uh, Dylan Larkin. Oh, the synergies, they were nice. A Roaring Twenties synergy. Alexis Lafreniere. Oh, these, this is nice too. The Opeachy Platinum. This is some kind of prism refractor. Oscar Lindbergh rookie. We got from the Allure Hockey a Nils Lundquist rookie. Okay, we got a center of attention from upper deck, Mika Zabenajad. Got another synergy, rookie journey, Lucas Raymond, number to nine ninety nine. We got a SPX Radiant FX rookies, Lucas Raymond. Oh, we got another one. They're die cut. Too. No, they're not die cut. They look die cut, but the side is acetate. So this is a uh, Radiant FX Rookie Nils Lundqvist. Yeah, it looks like it's die cut, but it's not. There's an acetate part to the card on the side. Fools you a little bit. Oh, these are nice. These are some uh, TTMs. Uh, they're all certified by JSA. They got the JSA certification stamp on the back. Uh, I didn't get them TTM. That I bought collections and they were in it. But we got a nice Mike Mondano. Got a Kirk Muller. Well, he's got a big autograph. Got a Brent Suter. Brian Trottier. This one, oh, this is in gold. Uh, he signed it in gold pen. Dennis Potvin. Got a Bobby Holik signed right across his face. Oh, this is nice. This is a, uh, oh, that's what's Larry Robinson. That's nice. And they all have, I'll show you the little, JSA certification stamp on the back, which they don't do anymore. Now they want you to pay, I guess it's $25. That that stamp back in the day, they said, oh, it's okay. It was like six bucks. Uh, but that was back in the day. We got a uh, 1981 San Diego Padres signed card of Frank Howard. Wow. But it's tough to see the autograph because it's in ballpoint pen, but it's there. Frank Howard had just passed away. Hondo. Now, this is not a TTM. This is from Nabisco. We have a... Uh, Nabisco Company used to be right down the road here, basically about three, four miles away. And they had a lot of players autographed back in the 90s. And this is a Jim Catfish Hunter. Yeah, they were nice cards. They had ju not just cards. They had plaques, all kinds of stuff they got signed. This is a Dick Williams TTM. Say Bud Harrelson, 1976. Now, this is a 1958 card. So it's Lou Burdett, Bobby Shantz, but Bobby Shantz signed it. Oh, this guy was at one time the president of the American League, right? I think Bobby Brown. 
All right, we got some old baseball here, some 1958 Indians. And this poor guy, for some reason, the two bottom corners of the card are cut <laughs> to a nice, uh, beautiful, rounded uh, edge. Vic Wirtz. I don't know if you can see the bottoms. Somebody cut them. I don't know. This one's not in great shape, but it's nice. Herb Score. They're all Indians. We got a Hal Naragon. We got a Larry Rains. Ray Narleski. Fred Hatfield. Cal McLeish. Billy Moran. And George Strickland. Right. Oh, we got some Babe Ruth stuff. First, we got an Upper Deck Collector's Choice. Babe Ruth First Class Yankees card. It's a regular card in the set, number 500, but I always thought it was nice. We got more Conlin collection. So the Conlin collection had the Bambino subset. There's a lot of nice subsets in Conlin. So these are all the Bambino subsets. And there's uh, Babe marries again with his second wife, Claire. <laughs> you never know. This could be anything. Could be him hunting or whatever. Uh, this is uh, when he was a baby. The Bambino. Yeah. Now, this is when he was uh, at St. Mary's Industrial School for Boys. And that's him and Gehrig. Yeah, that's him getting fixed up by the trainer. He often played hurt, it said. Uh, this is uh, uh, him. Uh, he contributed to the war effort. Uh, he was too uh, too old to participate in the actual war when the Pearl Harbor got bombed. He was 46. But he did whatever he could as a civilian to support the nation. Became an active as a fundraiser. Okay. For the Red Cross and the Army Relief Fund. The Babe on the Lynx golfing. So these common collections are very overlooked, I think. They got a nice story on the back. I mean, they, they're not uh, cheaply done. Like today's cards with nothing on the back. Babe's Big Bucks. Wow. Now let's see what this says. When Babe Ruth signed his first contract for $600 a year. Ooh, that's a lot of money. <laughs> the 19-year-old from the slums of Baltimore felt like the richest man in the world. A few years later, he was the highest paid athlete in the country, making over $50,000 a year. In 1919, the Yanke Yankees bought him from the Red Sox. The $100,000 they paid for him was dirt cheap. In his very first year, the Yankees doubled their best attendance from 619000 to $1.289 million. At an average of a dollar a seat, they made a gain of over $600,000 in the first year. Keeps going on and on. So, that's amazing how the money is now. Uh, and then, oh, this is a sad thing. I remember I heard the story, and I, I saw he wanted to be a manager, and they, they pulled his chain. They tried to butter him up and this and that. I think he, at one time he was a bench coach or something, but I don't think they ever really made him a manager. But he, he had his heart set on it. What are you going to do? Uh, we got some football. Let's see here. We got a great greatest hits from rookies and stars. Curtis Martin card. Insert number to 2,500. Only 2,500 made. Well, you know, that's a nice insert out of 2,500. What are we looking at today? Uh, Somebody uh, in one of their videos was talking about the MLB stars cards and tops. You know, it's time to maybe stop making them because there's so many. Uh, I said, yeah, there's only a million or two. So back then, short print, 2,500. 
We got a, an older, uh, what year is this from? 1995 Topps Finest, Jerry Rice. Still got the protective covering on it. You got a 96 Fleer. I'm trying to see what the, what it says. It's so shiny you can't read it. Break something. <laughs> Break out or something. It's a Joey Galloway. It's very shiny. We got a Topps Gridiron Legends, Ron Woodson from the old Steelers. We got a rookie record holder, Marshall Falk from Skybox Impact back in 1996. Oh, we got a nice upper deck star rookie of Warren Sapp. There's a new one. Uh, 2000 to 2009, Decade Dominance, Warren Sapp from Prism. That's from 2013, Prism. Now, this one's in a, a plastic that's dirty. <laughs> Let me take it out. This is just a regular uh, 1999, I believe, Skybox Metal Universe Wayne Trebek card. Oh, these were from Four Sport. I remember these. So they had these three-part cards that actually had perforation in the middle. And they were all rookies at the time. And I got a Drew Bledstow, Rick Meyer, and Garrison Hurst. It's like a three-part card. All right, we got some 1971s here. 71s. It uh, looks like Browns, Steelers, Chiefs, and Giants. Now, let's see what we got. We got a Walter Johnson. These are all from 1971. Mike Phipps. Got a Gene Hickerson. Okay, we got some Steelers. Chuck Allen. John Fuqua. Bobby Walden. Terry Hanratty. We come a couple of Chiefs. We got Jan Stenerud. Bobby Bell. And Johnny Robinson. We got a bunch of Giants. We got a Tucker Fredrickson. Clifton McNeil. Ron Johnson. This guy's got one of the best nicknames in the business. Spider Lockhart. I think his real name might have been Carl. But it doesn't even have it on the card. It just says Spider all the way. There you go. All right, let me throw that over there. And that's uh, our warehouse finds. Let me have a little something to drink here. All right. So we're going right to card shop stories. So, I think I've told a story about a fr this friend of mine. I have a, had a really great friend that passed away about three years ago. Uh, unexpected. Uh, they, you know, but anyway, uh, this is a, a story about how our little, inter we had a lot of, he was in the store almost every day. Almost every day. And we had interactions for, oh, geez, 30 years. <laughs> I knew him for over 30 years. So, uh, good friend. Uh, he uh, ended up uh, liking the hobby. Uh, he was well off, so he could afford things. And uh, he ended up uh, buying, a, well, partnering with somebody and starting a autograph certification company. I'm not going to mention any names, but a lot of people already know. Uh, and it's funny, uh, when he s started with this guy, uh, who's also a very nice guy, he's a friend of mine, he, he uh, left his post where he was, because uh, he worked for another big company, and uh, worked out of his house in Orgsburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, so a lot of people from around here, they're not going to go to Orgsburg, so... We use the store as a drop-off point. So you could drop off your stuff in uh, Mars Plains at the time. 
and my buddy would bring it to Orisburg because he was working on a partnership with him to start a big another big company, which they did. They started a big company, which today is still a pretty good company. You know, they're one of the best as far as autograph certification. Uh, and uh, I remember he tried to get me to go in on it. And I said, nah, I, says, I, I have no time. You know, I don't have any time for that. I'm running a store. <laughs> I'm running the grind of a card shop store. So he, and he was sort of newer in the hobby. He hadn't been in the, I mean, he collected as a kid, like a lot of us do. But he was learning about the hobby, even though he was a big player. Uh, so, oh, he says this autograph thing is going to be the biggest thing going. We're going to make it big. Oh, it's going to be gigantic. It's not. It's a very good business, you know. But uh, you ought to get rid of all this wax and put autographs up because I had a my whole wall was pretty much wax. Uh, we had some nice autographs. I had a lot of autographs in the store. I, in fact, I had a, like a separate room where I kept most of the autographs. It was like an autograph room. So, but I had mostly on the wall a lot of wax. I had a lot of wax. So I, I think we counted out one time uh, in the store well over 200 varieties of different kinds of packs. Forget boxes. Well over 200 different packs you could buy. You know, and... Uh, Mostly we carried hobby, but then later on, I carried the retail. So we had a lot of stuff. <laughs> I would have, uh, geez, by the time we got to Randolph, I would probably have two or 300 blaster boxes on the on the counter for sale. Forget all the hobby stuff. We had a pretty good allocation and a lot of uh, connections. Uh, because, like I told my buddy, because he, he sort of told me, oh, you're making a mistake, ba do ba dee ba do ba da autographs are going to be the new thing. Yeah, right. They're going to take over. I said, they'll never take over because wax is king. That's what I told him. And he, he didn't believe me. Not in the beginning. And he goes, hey, he goes, eh, why, why go through a box to try to find an autograph when you just buy one? Blah, blah, blah. I said, yeah, I, I know what you're saying, but I says, wax is king. And that was my final statement i says i'm doing this don't ask me to do something else i can't do it i don't want to you know be too uh, spread out i don't believe in that either i believe in doing something well you know and concentrating on it so uh and i wouldn't have been able to give him my time so uh but we were we were always oh we were best friends and uh he, he would, uh, for a while, they did the Orwigsburg thing, and then eventually they opened us a, a big place that was two miles from my store. <laughs> so so we didn't have to have people drop off anymore. You know, I just say, just go up there, two miles away. <laughs> so that's what we did. Uh, and wax is king. I, I mean, I'm a singles guy, don't get me wrong. I like to open a box once in a while. Most time, the only thing I open is the two boxes during the week for our videos. And then every two weeks, not for myself, but for the customers, I'll do my kitchen table box break where I open four boxes. And I have fun opening boxes, I, I have to say. But in the store, when I was when I opened the store, I don't think I opened hardly anything. Uh, let's put it this way, it wasn't a box a week. It might've been a pack here and there, but it wasn't a box a week. I might've said, oh, what's this new stuff? Let me see what it looks like and open up a pack just to look, you know. And a lot of times I left the cards in the box. A lot of you guys that came to the store know I left the cards in the box so we could see what they looked like because if they were brand new, we didn't know what they looked like. That was like a little preview anyway, you know. And it's, it's funny, people you say, oh, there's loose cards in this box. I said, yeah, it's on purpose to let you know what they look like. So, uh, but wax is king. And, you know, we were talking about it not too long ago at a show there's still the big gambling aspect, uh, which is exciting. You know, I'm not a big gambler. I'd rather buy, as you know, a collection of cards. You know, uh, I mean, I do buy wax, but I don't go crazy. I, I think I spend more money on singles, you know, as you see from the never ending piles of singles that we we show just a little bit of. Uh, so I, I, I like that. I like going through my boxes. 
it's really fun for me now uh, going through the warehouse and bringing. Uh, what I do is I go, I bring a few boxes, maybe on the average three or four three row shoe boxes. It takes a couple of weeks to process that. And uh, I don't remember what I put in there and I'm finding all kinds of stuff as you can see, you know. So it's, it's like fun, very fun for me to do that. Uh, but I told him wax is king. And like we were saying at the show not too long ago, probably 60% of the people in this hobby, believe it or not, because I think we're mostly collectors here, are gamblers, 60% at least. Because they're, they're on those sites, they're on those box break sites, there's a lot of them, and they're spending stupid money. <laughs> you know, all right, so you want to have some fun, fine, but, you know, some of the breaks are very expensive, you know. Uh, I mean, it's, if you're doing it for fun and having entertainment, that's good, you know. I can't say nothing about that. What's fun worth? Fun, fun is... Uh, an undetermined amount, depending on what you value it at, which I, I think fun is is got a good value. Uh, but wax is king in this hobby. If we didn't have wax in this hobby, you wouldn't see half the people. I guarantee you, they'd be gone. <laughs> you know, so I'm going to do today. I want a booklet which is probably a one in a thousand box chance, but you never know. <laughs> so I'm having a little fun with my gambling aspect now, which I, I didn't do in the store. When you have a store with that much wax, you don't want to open any <laughs> because if you get the bug, you know, I had, I had, geez, because wax will bring you up and wax will bring you down as a store owner because I had a friend that I set up with a store. I got him all the connections, everything. He was also a guy that liked to open packs. And he was open about a year. Uh, they came, they had come into some money, and uh, he had a lot of money to burn. Uh, and he probably wasted at least $100,000 minimum. This is back in the 90s on wax he opened. Instead of selling it in the store, he opened it because he was sitting there bored. And... Uh, Eventually went out and ended up selling all the, all the singles from the wax for basically pennies on the dollar. You know, so, uh, in fact, if I remember right, it was like 20 cents on a dollar. So, but he had his fun, uh, but he wasn't happy because <laughs> I think I think his wife, his wife actually ran into the money. I think they ended up burning at least 150000 on the store in a year they lost, but they still had money, so it was all right. But the wax is king, and I will not dispute that with anybody. And that's our little card shop story. And uh, tribute to my friend, and uh, may, may he rest in peace. All right, we're going to go to the playbook. So what do we got here? Let's see. 2021 NFL Trading Card Mega Box Playbook. Unwrap one autograph or remember be a card per box. We got five cards per pack. Four packs per box. Look at that here. Oh, and Luke's pulling in. Watch out. Must be that time of day already. Actually, it might be a little early. All right. So let me see. What time is it? Oh, he's early today. Woo. All right. Here we go. Good luck to everybody. We're going to open it up and see what we're going to get. You never know. Because I'm gambling now. <laughs> All right, Ooh, come on now. Well, we got this big box. Where's our... Pa oh, geez, look at this here. So they got this big box. This is pretty normal nowadays. And there's the four packs in the middle. They don't even fill up the middle. You couldn't give us six packs or something? Fill up that middle? I don't know. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. All right, so we're going to get something. That's what it says, anyway, on the average. We got a Miles Sanders. Okay, these, are I think, are one a box, and I forget what they're calling them. Some kind of parallel. Let's see. This is not the purple, I don't believe. But some kind of parallel. It might be the purple, I don't know. But I got a Brevin Jordan rookie. 
But see how it's all like uh, almost like a refractor type of deal. We got a next up Trey Sermon. A Sam Ellinger rookie. And a Joe Tyron Shoyinka rookie. All right. So 2021, who we want? We want Trevor Lawrence in them, guys. We got a Jerry Judy. We got a A.J. Brown. A Zony commercial, Miles Sanders. We got a rookie card of Rashad Bateman. And a rookie card of Le Levi Onwuzo K or something like that. I don't know. Oh, the bottom pack looks thicker. All right. We'll save that. Looks like the bottom pack. We got a Tyron Matu. Dalvin Cook. Yeah. Dalvin Cook. That's the guy we got the Jets, right? And he ain't doing much. We got a, a Chris Godwin Blitz card. We got a Oza Owe Kokui, whatever his name is, rookie card. We got a Nico Collins rookie. And the last pack, which looks thick. Well, let's see what we got. Well, there's something thick in there. All right. We got a J.K. Dobbins. We got a thick card last. We got a, a George Kittle purple. Hmm. We got a Peyton Turner rookie card. Now we got a next up Zach Wilson. And we got a Blitz jersey card. All right, not bad. Amari Cooper. There you go. All right, what are you going to do? That's kind of rough for 50 bucks. <laughs> I think at one time they were even more. At one time, I think they were at least 60 bucks or something like that. But uh, that's the way it is. You know, you take a chance. And... Uh, Thank God it wasn't a playbook hobby. Oh boy. Playbook hobbies are probably what, two, three, four hundred dollars? Forget about it. No. And that's our, our box break. So we're gonna close. We got some prizes. Let's see here. So we're gonna uh now let me just make a quick announcement. Get your comments in before Friday, if you can because I might be doing a Friday instead of Saturday show. I, I got to call uh, one of the stores. I might be doing a, a sport card adventure on the road, but I still haven't made the arrangements with the store. So I'm going to call today and see. So I might be doing the Friday thing, because I don't want to bother the guy's store on Saturday when he's probably very busy. So maybe we'll try a Friday. This way it's not as busy in the store, and we can show you more of the store. I'm going to make arrangements for that if he wants to do it. I'm pretty sure he'll, he will, but uh, as long as things fall into place. If not, we'll be back on Saturday. But I'm telling you now, get your comments in before Friday because I, I, I might have to cut it, you know. I won't post a video till Saturday just to make it regular Tuesday and Saturday like we always do, but I'll be posting it on Saturday. Uh, so Saturday the video will come either way, but the comments might have to be in by Friday. All right. Oh, who's here? Who's here? Oh, Luke's here. What's going on, Luke? Yeah. We're just getting ready to close up the video. You do you don't win no prize today. No prize. No, no. Who won today? Let's see. We got Angelo Campanello won. Mm -hmm. Daryl won again. Wow. He's lucky. Yeah. Uh, vintage bookshelves won, and Day One Savage won the pack. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Prizes. For this video, so if you comment on this video and you're a subscriber, you got a chance for these prizes. We got the 2019 Black Friday pack for first out of the box. Second out of the box, we got a 1964 Buffalo Bills card from Tops. That's an oldie. I like to sprinkle in some vintage once in a while. Third out of the box, we got a nice select die cut. Uh, what are they calling this now? Premier level die cut green prism of Ed Reed, the old Ravens. And fourth out of the box, I thought this was a cool card. It's a 2014 Prestige Numbers 
acetate card of Vernon Davis. So those are our prizes for the next video. All you got to do is be a subscriber and comment on this video, and you got a chance for these prizes here. All right, thanks a lot, everybody, for tuning in. Don't forget our eBay, Sports PG on eBay, S-P-O-R-T-S-P-G. Uh, check it out. We got a lot of stuff starting auctions at 95 cents, and how much stuff we got on there now? Over 15,000, I think. 14,600. 14,600 and something. Yeah. All right, we're getting there. And then uh, COMC, over 46,000 items, most of them under a dollar. So check it out. We got a lot of great deals on there. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody, for tuning in. Hope you have a good day, good, good rest of the week, and we'll see you on a video on Saturday, but try to comment by Friday. All right. Talk to you later. Bye now.